So then why would you ask her to sneak out to your house if you knew she was a child? Have somebody to hang out with? Yeah, but she's That's a child. Cow. Though. There is no way this big boy is about to pull off a robbery, bro. Hold on. To see who what in the f in the FBI federal system is this? Whoa, hold on. Who is this? Give me him. Give me his name. Yo, welcome back to the channel, man. I hope you guys are all doing well, taking care of yourselves as always. It's currently like 2 a.m., so excuse me if I sound tired in this video, but I promise you I got energy for this video as well. I said it twice because today we're obviously taking a look at a lot of content, and uh, I hope everybody's weekend is going well, man. Mine sure is. It's late at night. I'm obviously talking to my people. I'm in a good vibe, bro. I got a candle going. It's raining outside. It's one of those days where I feel like bro it's just majestic i don't know if it's just me but when it's raining outside and you're like up to something good i'm talking about like either playing a game working um just being productive in general i don't know bro it's a certain vibe that just it's that hour of the day where you just feel at peace i feel like every person has that it's probably at different times but mine is usually late very late at night i don't know what i'm talking about but let's <laughs> Let's get into this video, man. It said, confronting my special needs neighbor who got caught trying to f whoa whoa yeah let's just watch this shit if you're new here and this is your first time watching bro if you like what you see join us and yeah let's get into this confronting my special needs neighbor hey, lord if you want me in jail hey, just so say that my daughter is the one who was in the elevator she's a child did you know that yeah i just i just yeah yeah i understood you understood so then why would you ask her to sneak out to your house if you knew she was a child I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. So this grown ass man is living on his own. Fuck the special needs thing. I'm not being disrespectful, by the way, at all. Here's my point. He is a grown ass man with a disability. Correct. Yes, I understand. But for him to be able to live on his own, because that's also mentioned in this title, he is capable of taking care of his bills. He has the common sense to uh, be social when it comes to living alone, taking care of himself. Basically, what I'm trying to say is he's a fucking adult right i don't care what kind of disability you have unless you just your brain doesn't function correctly or you're sick in the head there is absolutely even that bro there is never a reason for you as a grown ass man to be saying anything even close to that to a child man or am, am i tripping i don't think so bro at all what the fuck is this special needs or not man you should you should know right from wrong even the bare minimum right and know that you're not supposed to be inviting little girls to your house, bro. What the fuck? And I just want to have somebody to hang out with. Yeah, but she's That's a cow. child, though. So why, why would a child need to come down to your house to, to hang with you? I apologize. So listen, I don't... Hold on, let me try to wrap my head around this. Actually, fuck that. There is no wrapping my head around this. He's using his disability as an excuse. Actually, I can't even say he's using it as an excuse because he did say, I'm sorry. So he's obviously admitting guilt. It's just my point still stands, bro. There is no reason for you to ever, unless she was lying to you about her age or some shit, right? But if you knew that that was a child, this is just sick, bro. Regardless of who the fuck you are, what you have going on man what yeah can let me know what y'all think about that in the comments let's move on uh this says this has to be the most obvious planned robbery <laughs> what there is no way this big ass boy is about to pull off a robbery bro hold on My question is, right, I mean, obviously, he, bro, he looks like he's in eighth grade. <laughs> he looks like he's 14, so that's probably why. But why would you even try to fucking rob a store like this? This shit has no valuables in it, bro. It's 
pointless. It's stupid to even try to rob shit. Like, let me put myself in the shoes of a criminal, right? Let's say I'm broke, I'm homeless, and I need money, and I'm, I want to commit an armed robbery. What would I rob, bro? A jewelry store? Hmm. I'm gonna have to go fucking full-blown T. Grizzly. A bank? Mm-hmm. Okay, let me shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> Yo. Hold on. What kind of middle school shit is this, bro? <laughs> Hold on. Look at this head nod. He did not. He gave him a little head. Oh, my. What is this, bro? These are like literally little kids. Like genuinely little kids. And why is why is he still standing there? What the fuck? His dumb ass is about to get caught, bro. I don't know what the fuck this video is. You are clearly caught giving them the uh, go ahead with that head nod. Uh, I don't know what this video is, bro. She's got that little ass dog. Okay, I'm off this shit, bro. It, it, I don't know what this was. I'm still going to keep it in the video. It's just that was the worst robbery I've ever seen in my life. Hold on. She came back. Let me see. Dumbass. <sighs> yeah, let's move on. What is this? This is an ATM where once you put in your debit card, it'll take a picture of you and it'll put your bank account balance on the leaderboards and it'll rank you among Ooh. other Art Basel guests to see who what in the fucking fbi federal system is this whoa hold on who is this give me him give me his name yo i'm finding him i swear to god if i ever come across an ATA, do you realize how much fun somebody can have with this bro all they have to do they literally have a picture of you in your bank account what the fuck is this federal ass atm there is no way my boy is about to explain to us how cool this is a leaderboard of you flexing your bank account what the fuck who has the most money currently number one is 2.9 million dollars it goes all the way down i've seen it all the way to like number 79 with zero dollars a couple of people have zero dollars but it is just insane. It's a really This is like the biggest come get me put a bounty on your head fucking advertisement I've ever seen. If you ever wanted to literally get fucking robbed or killed, this is how you do it, bro. Just walk up to this ATM and scan your card. There is no way this shit is real. Popular ATM here as you can see. People are hesitant to put their card in there. I don't know who thought that was a good idea, but people will still eat up dumbass ideas. Like this is the perfect example. An ATM that literally takes a picture of you and shows your bank account balance. I have never seen anything more federal in my life. Holy shit. And that's the thing. People will still actually use it and try to, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um. We got one last clip, I think. Let me see. Yeah. One last clip of this guy climbing a tree to avoid being eaten by lions. How do you end up in this situation? GG's. GG's. <laughs> Yo. you do i mean i'm not gonna lie bro I'm, I'm just praying to god at that point you just gotta play the fucking waiting game i mean you might as well pull your pants down and take a shit on their head but that might make them just speed run climbing the fucking tree and mauling you how do you even end up i mean i guess i don't know if you're like a what do they call them whisperers right you can just fake a video like this because you talk to lions somehow that's one of the coolest and obviously freakiest and creepiest things that i've seen people do and i know you guys know what i'm talking about is that there's that one guy who hangs around with lions in the middle east it's very fucking normal but if you were to genuinely find yourself in a situation like that in the wild it's fucking ggs bro what can you do game over at that point but uh but yeah man i'm gonna end this right here it's uh it's pretty late so i'm probably better clock out i'll see you on the next one take care of yourselves drink a lot of water stay healthy stay safe and uh yeah peace out